If you're a busy video creator and you want to learn how to create your YouTube thumbnails in just a matter of minutes, because, well, you know, life. Now, it could be that you're just short of time, and also it could be that you're not a ninth dan level ninja in Photoshop, so you don't have that kind of skills and abilities yet. Maybe you just want quick and easy and to become an instant graphic designer. Well, I've got you. Now, first thing we need is a video idea to use as an example. Now, let's pretend that we've got a travel and tech channel. Now, I'm going to review this Insta360 Go 3, this teeny tiny little camera, and I'm going to do it for my fake travel channel. Now, as you can see, I'm not stood on a mountain. I'm sat in my office where I spend 98% of my waking life. So, that's going to be one of the first tricks I'm going to show you in a moment. First, let me show you something really special. This is the Apple Timer 3000. Now, I'm gonna program in five minutes on this bad boy, and in those five minutes, I'm gonna show you all the tips and tricks that you need to know in order to create really good YouTube thumbnails, fast and easy. Now, first things first, we need a photo, so we're gonna take a selfie. Now, don't go nuts. A smartphone is absolutely fine if you don't have access to an eight gajillion megapixel digital camera. A phone will do the trick. The most important thing is getting lighting right when you've got a phone. So you can either use a window and get that kind of diffused natural look and just get some light on your face. Or if like me, you live in Darksville, one moment, where it's always dark and miserable, then you can get kind of like a cheap soft light or something like this. Let me just dazzle you a second. Just like one of them. Now we're gonna use Canva for our editing. Now you can use the mobile app or you can send the photo you've just took to your laptop or PC. Um, I sometimes use Google Drive. But one trick that I use to get photos to my editing software faster is I open the Canva app, I start a new video design as that'll use the thumbnail dimensions that we need and I upload the photo from my phone. I then move on to my laptop and it's already in the gallery. Clock's ticking so we better jump onto the laptop quick. Hold on to your hats, we're going to move quick through this. Feel free to pause, rewind, or let me know if you want a more detailed video. Now, if you've just copied the file over to your machine, then you can create video template here, and it'll be the right dimensions. This untitled design, though, is the one that I created when I was using the app on my phone. So I'm just going to open that up. Now, I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep that top photo and get rid of the others. First thing we want to do is adjust the photo slightly. So we're just going to tidy it up, add a little bit more clarity. We do that by clicking edit photo and then adjust. I'm just going to whiz through some of these settings. Now, most people YouTube thumbnails increase the saturation and the sharpness. Now you can see I've got my messy office in the background. So I want to get rid of that background. I'm going to do that by clicking edit photo and then BG remover. This will automatically get rid of the background as so, which works really well. The other thing I want to do is I want to flip this around because I want to put it on the right hand side, but I want the camera on the left. So I'm just going to flip this around and then I'm going to increase the size of this as well. Next, I'm gonna go into photos and I'm gonna look for a mountain range that we can use in that backdrop. There's tons of pictures, there's millions of photos, videos, and the stock photography in Canva. So I'm gonna use this one. And I'm gonna right click and set image as background. Now, one thing I would say is it's too sharp and it detracts from the main image. So if you click on edit photo and then click on blur, and what you can do is we can apply a blur to the entire image and it just makes it a little bit more subtle. So I'm gonna apply that much and then go back again. And that works a little bit better, I think. One other thing we can do to add a little bit of distinction between the foreground and background is also add a little drop shadow. So I'm gonna click on me, click on edit photo and then click on shadows. And I use this glow. I'm just gonna reduce the size of that. And you see it puts a little bit of a faint outline. I'm just gonna to have to resize that now as well, one second. Next, we're going to go to the left hand side, click on text, and we're going to add some text. Now we can use these templates. I'm going to use this one as an example. I'm just going to port. Now I'm just going to use these little arrows to resize it. Now they look quite close together. So I'm just going to highlight everything and then click on this spacing button and then increase that line spacing. I'm also going to ungroup and get rid of this bottom one. Now, if you wanted to just start from scratch, you could have just clicked on heading. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make all these the same size. So I'm just going to select all, change the justification and the alignment to central. 
and just by highlighting one word at a time you can increase the size of just them words so i'm happy with that i'm also going to change the font color to white now that doesn't stand out massively so one thing i like to do is go to the effects and also add this lift and what that does is it just puts a little drop shadow of its own in the background so that's one little trick that i like to do the other trick that i like to do is to add an element in and i like to use shapes so you'll see a lot of youtubers also put uh, like colored boxes in behind keywords so the keyword here is smallest so i'm just going to create this box i'm going to drag it across and color that red Lastly, what thumbnail would be complete without an arrow? So I'm going to click on arrow. I'm going to find an appropriate arrow. I'm going to point it at that camera. So you can rotate it using that little icon and we can just move it there. I'm just going to change the color and let's make it yellow. There you have it, a YouTube thumbnail that looks really good and it only took less than five minutes. Now granted you need to have an idea of what kind of thumbnail you're going to create before you jump in but Canva is one of my favourite tools for content creation, it's so versatile, it's got tons of features and also it's damn easy, it helps people like me and you become almost instant graphic designers when we've never had that training and experience before just by all these simple easy to use features. And if you want more ways to create your content fast and easier, then you're going to want to check out the video on screen now. And also, subscribe. Come back. See me again.